when we usually talk, it's all about the real estate game. Uh, but you brought me to Pacific Beach Bikes today. What's happening here? I mean, this is an awesome spot. And uh, obviously, sitting next to Dan Zapkowski, the owner, and uh, been friends of mine for a long time, actually clients. I married them. Wait, wait, what? You yep. you Believe it or not. You married you and your wife? Yes, my beautiful wife, Heather. Oh, that's fantastic. So, uh, needless to say, you go way back. We go way back. We actually were roommates 15 years ago. Had some fun, rode bikes up and down the boardwalk and stuff, and had a great time. And then Dan and Heather bought a place for me a while back, stayed here in Pacific Beach, opened one shop, and then they've just transitioned to this awesome shop. Yeah, I mean, this place is spectacular. I see every uh, thing on two wheels that you can imagine, but how did you get into the bike biz? Good question. Um, BMX, that's where it all started. Um, was a huge BMXer growing up. I'm six foot seven, um, weigh a lot, you know, over 200 pounds, and I break everything that I ride when I was younger. So um, I used to buy bikes, take them apart, put them on my other bike, and then ride them until they broke. And, before you know it, I was selling used bikes out in the driveway. Mom loved it. <laughs> so yep. you you were the local bike boss back then, yep. and now you're bringing that passion here to Pacific Beach. Yep. So tell us about your new shop. So we just moved in February 1. Um, we're down here on Grand Avenue next to Rubio's. Um, way bigger space. We've got about 1,400 square feet. Um, we're able to actually stock way more bikes, a lot of BMX, um, a lot of cruisers, road bikes, rentals, you know, fixed gear, track bikes, so we have a little bit of everything. So your clientele that comes in, they're looking to cruise the boardwalk. I mean, I don't think you've been down there that no, many times, not many right? times, no. no. I don't think so. Have you seen the boardwalk? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as you guys know, I've been here 27 years. So yeah, my cousins, I started cruising that back in the day. I got my first beach cruiser, and I've we, we equated it to about 7,000 trips up and down. What? So, yeah. Yep. Awesome. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. I'm also a two-wheel enthusiast. I have motorcycles, scooter, and a beach cruiser that I don't get to get out on that often. So I'm super jazzed to see what type of bikes you have in the store. Yep, we have a little bit of everything. BMX, um, we have to have BMX because that's what got us into it. So cruisers, um, we have San Diego Bicycle Company, which we actually manufacture. Um, super affordable price points. Um, those are great quality. Um, single speed track. We do a lot of track builds for the guys racing at the, the velodrome. So, a um, little bit of everything. That's awesome. They also, the cool part is you have kids' bikes. I got Mason a bike here. This is correct. I forgot. You got to yeah. start off somewhere. So, we have a full lineup from balance bikes, you know, 10 inch little wheels yeah. on up to like a 24 inch cruiser. So, depending on how tall they are, we, we've yeah. got them covered. Absolutely. This is the one stop shop. Yep. We're full service, so if your bike breaks down, flat tire, you know, if you need a full rebuild on your hubs or bottom bracket or whatever you whatever you can break, we can fix it. Yeah, we, um, we've got great mechanics here, um, so it's, it keeps us busy. Now, what about specialty one-off bikes? So say I wanted something super, um, you know, pimped out and yeah. <laughs> maybe modeled after my motorcycle. Sure. Could you do any specialty custom requests? We sure can, absolutely. Uh, my wife has a uh, Repsol, Honda Repsol replica track bike that we, we take out uh, every now and then. Really cool. Um, had some work uh, done by one of my buddies with the vinyl, but wow. all the building up of the bike, absolutely. We'll do frame up, custom builds. Whatever you can think of, we can, we can make it happen. So, aside from purchasing, you also have an exceptional rental business. Tell me about that. Yes, absolutely. Um, we rent cruisers, hybrids, tandem bikes. You know, we got married on the beach, so we took our tandem out down the boardwalk afterwards. That was, that was really cool. It was probably one of the best memories of our wedding. Um, but absolutely, one of the neat things is we have a, a nice little golf cart that we can load up like five bikes on the back and deliver. So, if you're down at the Bahia at Mission Beach, you know, hotel, uh, we can deliver to wherever you need in Pacific Beach or Mission Beach as long as our golf cart will make it to and from. We'll deliver it for you. All right, well, it's sunny out. I think we should go explore the boardwalk and take trip 7001. Let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So I hear you guys are up for a beach cruise, huh? Always down for a cruise. Awesome. It's a great way to feel like a little kid again. Yeah. So what are you in the mood for? Well, this one definitely speaks to me right here. 
This one you can order, customize, but we're going to put you on a San Diego Bicycle Company bike today. Oh, yeah. I hear good things about those oh, bikes. Oh, yeah, they are top notch. Where's my bike, Hazard? Marky, we're going to sit you up over here. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Got to stay hydrated. I love it. Actually, my wife has this bike, and she loves it. I do ride it every once in a while with the boys, but uh, anyway, I think I'll stick with the matte black. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Even All better, right. because I actually want this one. Love Tiffany the blue. color, yes. And I think I'll definitely sound out on the beach, so. Yeah, well, let's do as the locals do and go for a ride down the boardwalk, get you guys some helmets, some locks, keep it to the streets, not the sidewalks. Let's go have some fun. That's what I call service. Look at us, uh, Bayside Delivery. How awesome is that? Dano obviously owed me a favor based on me marrying him and Heather back in the day. So he dropped us off in the cart. Normally they just drop off the bicycles, but they'll do it anywhere here in PB Mission Beach. That's awesome. Thanks yeah. to know people, right? Absolutely. Let's okay. go cruise. All right. I'll take you away to the sunshine. Don't you live around here? I do. I, li I literally live about 250 feet from here. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's some great properties around here, every which way you look. Yeah, Jen, if I would have bought something back in bike ride number one 27 years ago, it would have been about 250000 Now, one sold last month for $2.2 million, and it was a condo. Oh, wow. It's a great neighborhood, and I kind of want to check it out more. Let's do. Let's keep cruising. Okay, let's do. All right, let's, let's go. Imperial Beach combining three of the things that I love the most, but Jeff, how did you find this hidden gym? So I've been doing some work down here in Imperial Beach and I've seen this place under construction and I just had to figure out what was going on here. And so here we are at Mike Hess Brewing's Beer Garden. With the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Hess. Well, I'm just a guy, but yes. Thanks Hi. for having us. <laughs> Good morning. And Good morning. I'm so jazzed because we've got plates of tacos, French toast, we have beer and we have the beach just a few feet away yeah. so why did you come down to Imperial Beach? I, I think you just kind of nailed it right there but <laughs> um, you know we uh, we have built out uh, locations on the beach my wife and I met on Coronado and one of the things that we've always been seeking as a brand and as a for a venue is a place where we could be uh, near or on the water but also have outside space. I, I didn't expect that we would find something that was as magical as this place with 6,500 square feet outside but uh, so this was definitely a treasure, but being able to come to IB and be in a, not only a beach town, but also a Navy town. I'm a former Navy officer, so being uh, where my people are was important. And we found this spot and we saw the potential here and we were just, as soon as we saw it, I saw, called the owner and signed the lease. I heard that this is the largest beachside beer garden in California, maybe? It's entirely possible. I don't know how many beachside ones there are in Northern California, so I'm gonna say that's probably true. Yeah. I like it. Well, we're going with it as yeah. the truth. Um, you're known in the industry. You have a unique approach to the beer biz in San Diego. You were ahead of the curve. You kind of brought cans to the game or a unique spin on cans. Am yep. I correct? That's true. We were uh, the first brewery in, in San Diego to own a canning line. And we just saw that the potential for having cans so you can bring them to places like the beach or to a pool deck and places like that, uh, outdoor adventure, the cans were better packaged than bottles. And when we were starting out, we had a choice of one path or the other, bottles or cans. And we put our money on the, on the canning line and, and that was a bet that paid off well. When you drink one of Mike's beers and you take that can, the whole lid comes off the can 
And I, I mean, it's a great way to drink a beer and it's unique and I think it's a, it's a trademark for you. Well, cheers to cheers. that, that's, in, that's fantastic. Now also, you're a beer garden that actually has food, which right. is not always the case. We have five locations in California. This is the first one with a kitchen. We have this great opportunity to partner up with Jerry and, the, and his crew at City Tacos. Uh, we've been working with them since they opened up their North Park location like four years ago. So they've been doing our Taco Tuesdays and all kinds of our other special events. They did our company party this last year too. And, uh, and it was actually Jerry that brought me this location. He's the one that pointed it out to me. He, he knew about it because his business had was Ivy Street Tacos. And uh, he had an offer to uh, come over here and he said, it's too big for me, but I know a guy who can pull it off and he brought me into it. And the city of IB said, we don't want you to open up a alcohol establishment without food. So I immediately called Jerry and said, hey, if I build you a kitchen, will you move your business over here? And he said, absolutely. And, and it just, it, it's, the combination is incredible because you get beer tacos in the beach, right? It's the trifecta, and uh, and I'm so excited to have breakfast here now. So we're open on the weekends, 8:30 till noon on Saturday and Sunday to do breakfast because you had eggs and omelets and French toast and pancakes. We have been here every Saturday, my family and I, even though we live slightly north of here. My kids are like, let's go to City Tacos for the for the breakfast, so we come down to the beer garden uh, to get the breakfast. But the tacos are incredible. Uh, they're so flavorful. The chef uh, came from a French restaurant in Mexico City, so he knows sauces and marinades, and, and they're not just your standard meat on a tortilla. They're just, they're beautiful. You can see here the, the quality, just from the look of them, and the taste is incredible. Handmade, I love it. And now, Jeff, you were also saying what appealed to you about this location is the fact that you can bring your whole family. They have soccer balls, they got cornhole going on. It's so family friendly. Yeah, so, you know, I have three kids and we're always looking for places to go to and eat where we can bring the kids. They can kind of go off and maybe do their thing, but not escape and not cause too many problems. So tell us what you're offering here for your customers. Yeah, we, uh, well, we're excited to open up. All of our locations are family friendly. That's one nice thing about being a brewery and manufacturer is that we, we're not, there's no 21 and up thing. It's all ages. Um, you know, we've got high chairs and uh, we allow dogs in here too. And, but you know, it's great because you have families who are sitting here, you have kids who are uh, out here running around in the dirt, which will eventually get developed as we get into phase two. But you know, we've got cornhole and like you mentioned, soccer balls and just, you know, and the kids can just hang out. We've got non-alcohol beverages for the kids. They can obviously eat. And that's a big part of what, when my wife and I started the brewery, we always want to have establishments where we're comfortable bringing our kids. It's really cool. Everybody's welcome. I noticed sure. that coming in. I haven't spent a whole lot of time in IB, but it's so family friendly and there's so many people cruising by on their bikes and dogs roaming around, families heading to the beach. You know this area kind of well now. You have clients down here. Yeah, so I was brought to Imperial Beach because I have clients from the Del Cerro neighborhood that have a, a property that we're selling down the street. And it's an oceanfront condominium on the third floor. It's got views going up and down the coast. And you know it's absolutely an amazing place. And I'm down here quite a bit showing it to people and introducing them to Imperial Beach and everybody walks out of here super impressed. Yeah. It's a great beach community. All right, so we're seeing the completion of the first phase, yeah. but what does the second phase of construction have in store? Well, so right now we're uh, getting the, the plan set developed so we can go to the city and go back to the design review board because we've expanded the project since our original uh, pitch about a year and a half ago. So we've got, right now we just have 30 picnic tables and DG, but essentially what we'll end up getting is, is, is a really built out beautiful beer garden uh, with uh, sailcloth up high, up overhead so that there's shade because you, know, as you can see we got the pop-ups out here right now that provide a little bit of shade, but we need more. It's, it's nice to be out in the sun, but people don't want to get roasted. Um, we're going to have uh, a couple of fire pits on either corner of the property. And one of the really cool features that I think the city really loved and the people really embraced was that we're going to use shipping containers on the northwest uh, corner of the property. So we'll have three shipping containers. One of them is going to be an outside satellite bar so you don't have to go back in to go get a beer. And we have table service so you don't necessarily need to go in anyway, but we'll have a bar outside uh, for the beer. And then we'll have an elevated shipping container. Essentially it's stacked on top of the other one and we'll have, uh, a, it'll basically be a, a 10 foot off the ground, 60 foot long deck you have ocean views and you can also look up and down seacoast from it's and it's covered of course seating inside and out so uh, the phase two development is going to be really epic i think it'll bring a world-class establishment here to imperial beach wow when do you expect that phase to be done hopefully by the end of summer for sure and with the shipping containers such a unique approach i can't wait to see it yeah they're going to look awesome yeah absolutely well cheers to your cheers. opening thank and you to being on the beach and to Cheers. feeding us this wonderful meal and these brews. So excited to be here. Thank you for having us. I'm glad to have you out. Thank you.
to see you. So good to see you. Hey. Stephanie, Emily, thank you for joining me today and introducing me to this great coffee shop in Point Loma. Where are we? We are at Cacao Coffee. It's Cacao on Coffee. Voltaire. And the coffee Cheers. is great. So, wanted to talk about what you guys do for the community, specifically the military spouses community. President of the Military Spouse Association, right? Yep, the San Diego Coast Guard Spouses Club. And the secretary of it. Yep. So tell me a little bit about the, the association that you run and how important that is to the military spouses. So yes, we have the San Diego Coast Guard Spouses Club. So we are only one club for the entire San Diego Coast Guard area. Um, and so really it's about trying to create some different things for spouses to be able to connect with each other. So we do fun events like hiking and we have a book club. Um, Emily runs a fitness, um, kind of a fitness challenge for people to get nice. active. And yeah, so that's, I mean, really it's, it's meant to bring everybody together because being a military spouse, you move around a lot. Your friends change frequently. Um, you have to get acquainted with the new area pretty soon. And the faster you do it, the more you can get plugged in. Because it really does take about three years to get plugged into that community, figure out where things are, who people are, and guess what? It's time to move again. So it's so neat because there's an underlying threat, if you will, every single day with your spouses being in the military. How does that affect life as a military spouse. And you have to be resilient, you have to be resourceful, and you need to be yeah. you need to be strong on your own. Well yeah. that makes it more enjoyable, right? If you if you don't if you don't need them to be around you yeah. too much. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges of employment as a military spouse. You're a teacher, yeah. right? So you're yes. here three years. It's hard to get settled in. What are some of the issues that you run into? The biggest thing for me um, now that we have her is childcare in the area. Um, just moving to an area, um, you're not accustomed to the cost of living. There's only so much that accommodation happens. So for me right now, it's cheaper to stay home, right. uh, more cost efficient for our family. And also the licensing aspect of moving so often. A teacher, you have to get your license in each state. Um, some cover multiple states, but California is an exemption <laughs> to those. So I was recommended to do extra schooling and all that stuff, which obviously is a, a cost burden. But I know lawyers and nurses run into the same right. type of issue. And I think, you know, definitely from the military side, you guys live the military life. You understand the discipline and what's necessary to do it. And in terms of being an amazing employee, it's awesome because you guys would be, you know how to get integrated, do it, and be productive immediately. So ladies, I know you guys are super busy, on a schedule, you got things to do. I'm gonna stick around, have a little coffee, but so appreciate uh, spending some time with me today. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. So Gladys, thanks for letting me back behind the counter and make some coffee. Uh, tell me a little bit about cacao and what we're gonna make. What's your signature we have more than one signature drink. First of all, we have our own signature espresso that we are really proud of. So we create around that couple signature drink. One of them is the cacao latte and one the Arabian mocha. I'm gonna go ahead with the Arabian mocha that because- delicious. Yeah, the blend that we have and the spices is very unique and it blends very well with our espresso and our dark chocolate. So we'll make an Arabian okay, mocha. Okay, let's do this. So we're gonna start to get the shot ready. Okay. Then you can take the shot. That's it. Tap it. Like that. A little more like okay. this way. Okay. Twist to make it flat. To make it flat. There we are. Is that good? That's pretty good. <laughs> then we're gonna pour the shot right here. Okay, I put it in here? Yes, you can. And we're gonna get some chocolate going. Oh. One pump. Here we are. And okay. this is our cardamom spice. Okay, so this is what makes it special. This is what makes it very okay. special. Okay. It's very aromatic, very, well, very strong. very good. We're gonna get some milk. So Gladys, tell me where the name Kakawa came from. Kakawa is the first registered name for chocolate. 
in the Almec language. It's an older civilization before the Mayan. So we got inspired by the name because we, the blend that we created has a really high note of dark chocolate. And we infuse a lot of chocolate in most of our drinks. Still, you're gonna taste the strong espresso. It's not gonna cover the espresso taste. This is gonna be delicious. And we got a little art oh, for you. Oh, we need to make a little art. There you go. Beautiful. Go ahead and enjoy okay. it. Okay. Oh, that's delicious. Just a little hint of it's spice. Got, that spice is really nice. Yeah. And you can only get it here. You can only get it you at You can only get it here. So Gladys, love the coffee. Tell us where you are and how you picked this spot out. We were more focused on being in a neighborhood and we search around and what we love about Point Loma is really a nice neighborhood that has a blend of everything, like the schools, the homes, is a touristy area. And because we're like small coffee shop, we're very family oriented. When a customer walks in, he's gonna feel he's very welcome no pressure, we know their names, they know ours. We became like a community, family, friends. And this is what whole about, the idea of partnering and be engaging and be part of this lovely neighborhood that is so welcoming and warm, and we're so grateful for that. Well, spending time, you're right in the heart of Point Loma. We see people walking in and out all day long, and actually you have a coffee named after of one of your your patrons, right? One of your best patrons, a happy Abby. Yes. She named it herself, right? Yes, yes. So, but knowing the people's names, being community, it's a great, great coffee shop. Love it. Thank so you. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. I'll be back for some more. Thank you, we'd love to.